Alright guys, and welcome back to episode 5 of the Sunderland career mode, or road to glory, whatever you guys want to call it. This um, series is so much fun to do guys, and before we jump into our first game against Wigan, uh, I wanted to show you a few little things that I have done off camera. I have actually um, tried my best to give uh, Morgan Rogers a bit of a facelift. Um, I mean, his mini 3D pitch. I am going to try and change that to a proper actual HD image at some point, but I thought this will do for now rather than the grey silhouette. Um, so we've done that, and oh yeah, I need to show you what I've done in the Youth Academy as well. We've got um, a couple of players in there, and one very, very superstar that looks like he could be very good, but he's too young to promote. Now, as you did see in episode 4, I do believe, or episode maybe 3, I think it was episode 4 that we got Lewis Morgan. He was a right gem, and I don't know if you guys can remember his uh, mini face, what he looked like, and what he looked like in-game. He had, like, gingery hair and stuff like that. But anyway, I've actually put some alright faces on them. They're not the real faces. Well, they are in-game, but the mini faces won't be. But Lewis Morgan's new look is this guy. With a bit of dreadlocks on the top and stuff like that. I think he looks very, very cool. And then our other very good prospect who is still only 15 so it's a bit annoying that we can't call him up but Lewis Morgan looks very very good uh, 83 potential to 94 as a centre mid I'm probably going to look to maybe move him out wide though because it looks like his acceleration and stuff like that would probably be a little bit better sprint speed's not brill but we are working on that um but our next one is albert burns and as you guys can see i've changed this guy what he looked like i don't know if you can remember what he looked like um but we've given him a new face and just makes him look a little bit better in game rather than them looking like uh, luke andrews who we haven't changed at all um, we have changed Lewis Mason as well, but I don't, he is 16 and his potential has dropped within a month, so I probably aren't going to look to keep this guy on. Um, I'm going to keep him there in the Youth Academy until he gets unsettled and I'll make a choice then. But there's no rush to move him up because we've got Wilkes, we've got uh, we've got Wyke and we've got Rogers and even Stewart who can all play them roles, in including Mighton as well. Um, so there's no rush to call up another striker or even look to buy another striker straight away. So yeah, that is it guys. That's what I want to tell you at the beginning of this episode. Hope you guys used to do go on and enjoy it. Um, show the support by hitting that like button. It is much, much appreciated. But without further ado guys, we're getting this game against Wigan. Hopefully we can get another win and climb this table a little bit more. Here we go then guys, we have started Rodgers up top, as you guys can see he's scored 4 goals in his last 3 games, he's t I think 2 or 3 goals off being top scorer in the EFL League 1, him and Wilkes are our 2 best scorers right now, Wilkes is I think got 1 more goal than Rodgers, but Rodgers did come in a little bit later than Wilkes and hopefully he will be the top scorer by the come the end of the season. So let's jump into this one then, we won't watch all this daft Larry bits, we'll get straight into this and hopefully we can win. Hopefully Rogers can play just as well as what he did in his last game, I do believe, in episode 4. Willis. Rogers into Pearson. Is Rogers going to make the run? Okay, Pearson goes with Wilkes instead. What can Wilkes do? Can you find Rodgers in the centre? Yes, he can. We are 1-0 up against Wigan Athletic. Morgan Rodgers, the beauty, his brand new facing game as well. Oh, this guy is a very exciting player. And he's levelling, levelling, his overall level is going up very, very quickly as well. We got him on a 62, 61, and he's up to a 64 or 65 now. Um, but he's... Yeah, as I was saying, we've got so many games to get through in League One that I'm going to try and plough through as many as we can. And Rogers has done the same thing again. Brilliant freaking pressure. Can he bury this? Yes, he can. Two goals he's got in 34 minutes. Beautiful play from Rogers, Pressing from the front and leading by example. God, it's paying off. I made the choice to bring in Rogers because Charlie Wyke... I like a little bit faster striker, and he was okay at finishing, but he's just pace let him down, and it, we were getting caught. I, mean, I was putting through balls in, and he was just getting caught, so I thought, 
Ah, he's not. Wigan have got an alright squad. They've given that ball away cheaply, though, to Alex Mighton. Can McGeady carry this? And that is it, guys. Half time, we are 2 0 up against Wigan. Read the ball well. Now with Clock. Cloth. To Solomon Ottobar down this left hand side. Willis cannot keep up. What a beautiful ball to Dodo. Oh my god. Magnificent goal from Wigan. What a counter attacker that was. And now they're back in the game with more than half an hour to play. What a celebration. That Dodo guy, he looked dangerous from the outset. But it, it was a good goal. There was nothing I could do about that. Willis couldn't catch Solomon, so. Pearson. Hume on the overlap. Is it going to be a good ball in? <laughs> what a goal. What a header. From Rogers. I wasn't expecting that to happen at all. What a lovely overlap from Hume. And what a delivery. Delivery. And what a header. And that is his hat trick as well, guys. Probably his first hat trick as a player with him only being 17. Oh, my God. That is outstanding. What a goal. But that gives him his first hat trick and gives him his first hat trick for the club as well. I imagine there'll be more goals to come from there. He's up to 10 now. I think that will put him as the top scorer. though. Into Wilkes. Pearson on the overlap. Brilliant play this. Is he going to make it four? Yes, he is. Arthur Pearson, our youngster, who come from the Youth Academy when we first started and looks to be a very potential special player. Yeah, our new number eight. And that makes it 4-1 up against Wigan. And that is it, guys. We do grab the victory over Wigan. A 4-1 victory in our first game. Morgan Rogers with a hat-trick. This guy, remember his name. He's going to be here for the whole ter long term, hopefully. Unless we get a mega, mega transfer sum. And I imagine we will when we get up the leagues in the Championship or even the Premier League. And Dodo, what a... I might have to take a look at him. Alright guys, so our next match is the Papa John's Trophy. As you guys can see, this one is obviously new. Well, not new, but you only get it in League 1 or League 2. Um, and it's a weird format. We've never done a format like this in a tournament. The Papa John's Trophy is actually a group standing thing. Um, as you guys can see, Harrogate and crew have already played one of their games. We haven't played any yet. Harrogate Town obviously clearly beat crew three. Um, I don't know what the score was, but they've got three points in the group. We do play crew next. Um, so hopefully if we can get three points here... That will put us a level with Harrogate down. Obviously, there's only three in a group, so the standings, I don't know how the tournament format works. But we do what we've got to do, guys. And we're going to this game against Crew Alexandra. I am probably going to bring in maybe a few of the reserves and subs in the first team. Maybe I'll, I'll take a look at the formation. Guys, so we actually are going for something very, very different. I don't know how it's going to work. I'm just trying different things out. We are going with a 4 one 2 one 2 as you guys can see, we're bringing probably a lot, the whole second team really. Got McLaughlin, Flanagan, McFadzine, Winchester, uh, D Jack Diamond, and we're actually trying Chris Maguire as well up top alongside Wilkes. Come on then guys, hopefully we can get three points in our first cup group match against Crew. There's Arthur Pearson, our beastie potential centre midfielder. Let's jump into this one then. Trying a whole new formation out. Even starting Chris Maguire, who I've completely just abandoned, really. And he probably is a decent player. And the team forward. Oh my god, brilliant run here. Is Diamond onside or offside? He buries it. I think he's on. He is as well. We're 1-0 up against Crew. Jack Diamond with a beautiful run down the middle. And we find him with a beautiful pass from Kim Pioca. We are 1-0 up now against Crew. Well deserved. Dominate this first half. And Jack Diamond gives us the lead. 34 minutes in. 
see what Chris Maguire is all about. He hasn't really had much of the ball in this first half. I, honestly, this squad feels so, so good. So much fun to use. In the Kimpioka. Frank Chris. Chris? Maguire. Has he got the pace to get past these? Beautiful run. Can he finish that? Oh my god, Chris Maguire. What a run. A powerful run. Our number 10. And what a goal. Maybe I need to start listening to this guy a bit more and using him. Because that was a phenomenal goal. Straight through the middle of him. Got the power. And what a finish. To make it 2-0 against Crew. Oh, brilliant from Flanagan. Kim Pioca. Oh my god, we're in though with him now. Finish that 3 0, and it is. What a, f oh, what a goal. 3 0 up for half time. This is getting easy now. We are dominating. We're showing the crew up. Best rate into the team. The only. Oh my god, what a beautiful ball from Chris. The only thing is, is he's probably going to be a winger. Cheeky chip. And that is it, guys. Kim Bjorka makes it 4 0. 55 minutes in. I think I'm just going to sim to result now. We're showing them up. Kim Bjorka's going to come off. We're going to put Rogers on. And I'm going to sim the rest of the game. We're 4 0 up. There's no way we're losing this. May as well jump to result. What is it? A 4 0 win. We still keep the clean sheet there. Diamond Maguire, Kim Pioca twice. Here we go then, guys. We've had to switch the squad around. For the simple fact, we've got a lot of players on international duty. I totally forgot in League One that still carries on. John Jones is away. Um, Br Wright is um, away. McLaughlin. There's quite a few of them who we couldn't bring into the squad. So we are vi not very thin, but. We've managed to make the team. We've got Mighton, we've got Rogers back. Um, we've had to bring in Sanderson at centre back, who is on loan. Um, but hopefully, we should do it. It is a quite a pivotal um, game. Third versus fourth. Malik Wilkes against his old squad. Let's hopefully see what we can do, and we'll get right into this one. We are at home as well, so should be good to go. But let's try and get off to a good start. Or Neen with a nice little run here. George Honeyman wins it back though. We've got to be careful of Lewis Potter. He is a young... Oh my god, Doherty is just proper done us. Tom Eaves as well. Hull City, no messing about. Their first attack and they get a corner from the game. What a shot from George Honeyman. Let's clear this. Good job Matthews is in goal. Brought Josh Scowen in as well. Oh, Rogers, Brilliant turn. He's in behind. And he scores. He's not going to miss them. 17 minutes in. Morgan Rogers on the score sheet already. That calms the nerves and hopefully we can play our football. This guy just doesn't miss. Speed. Turn a speed there to get past him. And wow, what a finish. Bottom right hand corner. That's 11 goals. For him this season already. And that is it guys. We're 1-0 up at half time. Hopefully we can close this game out. But it's been a very nervous tight battle. It's not been easy. We've got the 1-0 lead through Rodgers. But. What's George Honeyman going to do with this? Just kicks it long. Loose Potter is going to get there. Or Neen can't keep up with him. There's no one with him up to support him though. And he's, he's, oh my god, he's managed to get all the way. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew, I knew. I had a feeling a goal was coming and I said I didn't know which end. And it's come with Hull City. Oh, and the dying embers of the game as well. Oh, it's so fun. Onin does well. Oh, my God. Is this Rogers' chance? His only chance to win the game. Oh, and he does. <laughs> yes. 
the 90th minute, Morgan Rogers, look at the celebrations. This is a big, big, big statement in the league. Hopefully this will put us up into second or first if Ipswich or Peterborough drop points. Oh my god, I am thankful I kept Morgan Rogers on the pitch. What a finish from a young 17-year-old. Now that has won us the game. As long as we don't do anything so stupid. Just gotta keep get the ball off him and keep the ball. Two minutes has been played. This has got to be it. Yes, it is, guys. We do scrape lucky, lucky enough to scrape a three points over Hull City there. That was a well-fought game, though. I would say a, des a draw would have been deserved, to be fair. But we've managed to sneak the last goal in the last minute of the game. Whew, let's see where that takes us, then. And we are, yeah, yeah. we're a point behind it, switch. Peterborough a point below us. Opening the gap, though, from Hull City, seven points from fourth, so that that's good. Here we go then, guys. We are up against Lincoln City, who are fifth. Hopefully, we can close the gap. Well, we have closed the gap on Ipswich now. We just need to hopefully let them drop points and we gain the victory and go above them. It's only a one-point difference in it from first to third. So, we've got to keep winning, guys. And we got Lincoln now. We are away again at Lincoln. I imagine this will be tough. Morgan Rogers versus his old team. I don't even think he probably makes the cut in their first team with him being so young. But he does in Sunderland's team because he is phenomenal. They don't know what they've missed out on him. He is on loan, so I do want to look to buy him as well. As soon as possible rather than later. Because in the Rogers. Rogers to Wilkes. Oh my god, Wilkes quick feet. Can he bury that? And that is 1-0. Absolutely stunning goal from Malik Wilkes. Well deserved as well. Eight minutes in. What a finish. What a touch anyway from Rogers to quickly just come inside and beautiful. So chuffed with that goal there. One nil up against Lincoln City. He isn't, so he still can't play. Can't promote him yet. Oh my god, Rogers is in though. Finishes it, he hits the post. Oh my god. So unlucky. Into Hume. Into Jordan. Can Jordan whip the ball in? Into Wilkes. Oh my god, what a goal. Wow. What a pass or cross, however you want to look at it. And then Wilkes with a chest and finish. Absolutely beautiful. Him playing in that cam roll. Seems like he's better there than he is out wide. I've put him there for this first game in a while because we've got Chris Maguire out on the right. And wow. We'll have to see. We'll have to try. I'm not too sure if Maguire is left footed or not. That could come in handy if we knew. Strike. Oh, <laughs> second attempt. And he buries that. We are absolutely smashing Lincoln City here. This Sunderland squad, honestly, put us in the championship now. Put us in the Premier League. Oh, this squad feels so goddamn good. What a finish. What a finish in that bottom left-hand corner. Right to bring it out. Into power. Out wide to Chris Maguire. Has Chris got any pace about him? He's got a little bit. He's got enough to get past a man. Beautiful ball in. Oh my god. <laughs> Malik Wilkes with a hat trick. He has played sensational today. In that cam roll, that is honestly, I might have to. He might have to start playing there a bit more often. He's probably been our best player on the pitch. And like I said, what a finish. All three of his finishes today have been absolutely outstanding, guys. And I am probably going to call the game here and jump to result. We're 4-0 up. 
still more than half an hour to play, but they're not going to bring that back. And what do we get? A 4 0 victory. And Wilkes mix, misses a penalty in the 83rd minute. Wow. Okay. As you guys can see, we absolutely battered them. We had 10 shots, 7 chances. They had 2 shots, 1 chance. We're definitely getting our defence is getting better, slowly getting better. Um, hopefully, we can find some good, promising defenders, though, in the youth academy. Our youth report actually is up, I think, the game before Shrewsbury. Oh, Lewis Morgan. His development from centre mid to right wing is done. I wonder if his overall will jump here. Oh, holy moly. He's gone from a 61 overall to 67. Oh, be Jesus. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Now I'm going to train him up as an inverted winger because I want to get his weak fit up. Weak fit? Weak foot up. His sprint speed up, finishing. Everything comes into play here. Wow. He is going to be special. Inverted winger. Get him doing that. I can't believe this jump he's gone from. 61. That's a plus 6. Jesus. Is he 16 yet? Please be 16. He fits straight into the squad. No, he's not. Still both 15. Albert Burns. He is a right wing and centre forward as well. He does look good. His overall though only a... 53. He's not growing as quick as Lewis Morgan is. Uh, I'm going to put a development plan on Albert Burns. I wonder. We've got a lot of wingers in the club. I'm wondering if I put this guy as a cam. Uh, he's down as a right winger. Uh, see, I don't know what to do, guys. Help me out down below in the comment section on. Uh, what we should maybe do with him. He's down as a right winger, but can play a centre forward role. I don't know whether I keep him as a winger or not. Uh, we could put a left wing on him. I don't know. I don't know where his best position would be. Um, no, I'm going to think about this one for now. Uh, 53 overall, his potential is there, so I'm not that bothered. He's only 15 at 53 rated. You've got to think of Kim Pioca, he is 20 and he's only 55. So Albert Burns is definitely going to outgrow Kim Pioca. So it could be a replacement for Kim Pioca. I really think Lewis Mason, he's not really going to make the cut. I don't, his potential looks like it's the low 60s. He's only 49. <laughs> No, nah, I'm gonna release release Lewis Smith, L Lewis Smith, Lewis Mason. But I can't wait for Lewis Morgan. Where? Okay, Shrewsbury are twentieth guys. So what I'm actually gonna do here might be a gamble, but I think I'm gonna quick sim it. Well, I'm not going to quick sim it because then the system... I'm going to go into sim match and then quick sim to result. But I'm going to change the starting lineup. Uh, okay, Rogers is tired. Mighton can come in there. McGeady can come in at Cam. Uh, Gooch can go out to the right. Okay, okay. We do need some more midfielders to be fair. Uh, Winchester can come in. We got any more Scowan can come in. Flanagan can come in instead of right. Okay, we've got a fit team. Oh no. Yeah. I'll take Hume off and I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Vorkins. He is on loan like, but I'll do that. Onin as well. We could swap Onin out for McLaughlin. Uh, where is he? Oh no, we had McFadden on the... Who's better than Vulcan. So, yeah. I'm going to go into sim match, guys, and then jump to result. Hopefully we can get a win against uh, Shrewsbury. We should be our squad and momentum. I'd, I wouldn't be too pleased if we get a loss here. 
it wouldn't be deserved the way we've been playing. Should be an automatic win, but you never know. We'll have to take a look. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll jump. Just jump to result. Okay, we get a 1 0 victory over Shrewsbury. McGeady, the 61st minute. I'll take that. We battered them with possession. I'd imagine. I'm a bit disappointed we didn't make as many chances, but it wasn't really our first team out. Wilkes wasn't there. Rogers, they were all tired. Um, but we do have our, have our monthly um, scout reports back, guys. So let's take a look at them and hopefully we can find some gems. Okay, so taking a look in Scotland then, guys, we have a Jack Gibson, a potential of 60 to 82, he's 17, he's, he's not probably going to be any good, so we'll get rid of him, got Aidan Johnston, again, he's probably not going to make the cut, got a Patrick Ray, or Ray, 69 to 93, not bad potential. His overall isn't brilliant, though. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I scout him for another month. I scout him a bit further so we, we can find out 100% uh, what he was. But let's take a look if we found anyone from England. We've got Matthew Farmer. <sighs> no good. Thomas. <laughs> Thomas Thomas? Okay, weird name. Thomas Thomas. Um, he would be no good. Aidan Bailey, no good. Roman Wilkins, no good. Alfie Haynes, hmm. his potential isn't brilliant. Um, we have a Oliver Bennett. Uh, right, Alfie. To me, it looks like a bit of a cam position I would have said ah, nah uh, I don't know I don't know right we sign him up we take a look at him it's free to release him Oliver Bennett isn't going to make the cut ok so I'm a bit disappointed with that month scout report I thought we might have got better but we never we're not going to find them gems every single time but We'll take a look at um, Alfie a second. He might not be any good. Yeah, yeah, he was a cam, I was right. His overall was a 58. He is 17, though. Potential, oh, 56 to 76. No, I'm not going to keep this guy. He's, pff, his weak foot's good, brilliant. But... I've got better players right now in them positions at 17. So we'll, we'll release him. We'll wait on the, these two. is going to be massive. But like I, like I do say, we do have a little bit of a problem. They're both wingers. And we have a lot of wingers already. I don't want to just bring them to sell them. I'd rather play the Youth Academy prospects. And worst case sell someone or maybe don't we don't sign thing i don't know what to do oh i wanted to you know ranger been in touch they apparently unhappy with how little time john jones has been okay well i'm happy to play him i would say that's a bit wrong though because he's been playing a lot he just hasn't been here he's been on international duty but i'll put him into the squad ahead of might and he's better than might and uh, I do like John Jones. Like I said, I I would bring him back if he has a good season with us. So we'll wait and see uh, the win against a team like this. I wasn't going to quick sim because I thought it could be risky. We're only a point above Ipswich. It'd probably be a battle out of us two who gets promotion out of League One. This episode, as you guys probably can tell, is going to be quite a long one. Um, just because it's just the sheer amount of games. And you probably will get a few episodes, like I did say, about um, just where you get a load of highlights in the beginning of one episode. 
but um, I can't help that. If you do go on to enjoy though, smash that like button and hopefully we can get a victory here. Northampton down have actually scored. Okay. Eight minutes in, Rose has actually scored. Okay, not a brilliant start to the game. I hope we can pull this back. I, I don't, I don't want to have to uh, jump in like... I'm tempted just to jump to result and see if that helps us in our favour. We'd only be two points below Ipswich if we did lose this. But it's, it's a game we should be winning. I'd like to think as anyway... Oh, and we're 2-0 down. I'm going to jump to result, guys. I'm not going to jump in. We're 2-0 down. There's just no point. Oh, wait there. Are we going to grab a goal back here? Nope. Okay, it's my game. Not working. <laughs> it won't let me press start. Eh? Team management? It's not letting me do out, guys. Oh, here we go, finally. I think my game's crashing. We're going to jump to result. We were getting beat 2-0 anyway. Oh, okay, Rodgers and Wilkes, I'll take a draw. From being 2-0 down before half an hour played, I'll take that 2-2 draw. That could have got so worse. But it's a point on the board. Yeah, and now <laughs> Ipswich. Oh, my God. Peterborough has caught up as well. Wow, this is such a battle. Holy moly's. Well, how many games have we played this episode? We played one, two, three, four, five, seven games in one episode. Whew. God, if you look at the months, it is crazy. Next episode, guys, I might play a full month's worth of games. Just otherwise, yeah, we're going to have to. But anyway, guys, I'm probably going to end this episode here as otherwise it's going to be it's going to be like an hour long. I'm going to try and cut it down to a 20, a half an hour minute video for you guys. If you have enjoyed this episode, though, of episode 5, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new around here on the road to 100 subscribers. You guys are loving this series. I'm loving this series. And it's going to be the best series on YouTube. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you next time.